A botanical name is a formal scientific name conforming to the International Code of Nomenclature for Algae, Fungi, and Plants and, if it concerns a plant cultigen, the additional cultivar and or group epithets must conform to the International Code of Nomenclature for Cultivated Plants. The code of nomenclature covers all organisms traditionally treated as algae, fungi, or plants, whether fossil or non-fossil, including blue-green algae, chytrids, omycetes, slime molds and photosynthetic protists with their taxonomically related non-photosynthetic groups. The purpose of a formal name is to have a single name that is accepted and used worldwide for a particular plant or plant group. For example, a botanical name Bellis perennis denotes a plant species which is native to most of the countries of Europe and the Middle East, where it has accumulated various names in many languages. Later it has been introduced worldwide, bringing it into contact with more languages. English names for this plant species include daisy, English daisy, and lawn daisy. The cultivar Bellis perennis orchibifolia, is a golden variegated horticultural selection of this species, type specimens and circumscription. The botanical name itself is fixed by a type, which is a particular specimen of an organism to which the scientific name is formally attached. In other words, a type is an example that serves to anchor or centralize the defining features of that particular taxon. The usefulness of botanical names is limited by the fact that taxonomic groups are not fixed in size. A taxon may have a varying circumscription, depending on the taxonomic system. Thus, the group to that a particular botanical name refers to can be quite small according to some people and quite big according to others. For example, the traditional view of the family Malvaceae has been expanded in some modern approaches to include what were formerly considered to be several closely related families. Some botanical names refer to groups that are very stable, while for other names a careful check is needed to see which circumscription is being used. Forms of plant names Depending on rank, botanical names may be in one part, two parts or three parts. The names of cultivated plants are not necessarily similar to the botanical names, since they may instead involve unambiguous common names of species or genera. Cultivated plant names may also have an extra component, bringing a maximum of four parts. In one part plantae marchantiophyta magnoliopsida lilia thy pinophyta phagaceae betula in two parts acacia subg philordinia chemia subsect heliodrosium berberus thunbergi syringa charisma a cultivar within a genus hydrangea lacecap group a genus name and group epithet lilium Darkest red group, a genus name and group epithet, Pophiopedium green tea ice cream and raspberries grex snowdrop, John Gray, an unambiguous common name, for the genus Galanthus and a cultivar epithet in three parts Calistegia cpm subsp, Americana crateregus azarolus var. Ponticabellus perennis, Orchibifolia, a cultivar Brassica oleracea gemifera group, a species name and group epithet in four parts Scylla, Hispanica var, Campanlutta, Rose Queen, a cultivar within a botanical variety apart from cultivars. The name of a plant can never have more than three parts. Components of plant names a botanical name in three parts, i.e., an infraspecific name needs a connecting term to indicate rank. In the Calistegia example above, this is subsp. In botany there are many ranks below that of species. A name of a subdivision of a genus also needs a connecting term. The connecting term is not part of the name itself. A taxon may be indicated by a listing in more than three parts. Saxifraga azun var, azun subver, brevifolia f, multicollis subf, circulosa engl, and ermsha, but this is a classification, not a formal botanical name. The botanical name is Saxifraga azun subf, circulosa engl, and ermsha. Generic, specific, and infraspecific botanical names are usually printed in italics.
The example set by the ICN is to italicize all botanical names, including those above genus, though the ICN preface states, the code sets no binding standard in this respect, as typography is a matter of editorial style and tradition not of nomenclature. Most peer-reviewed scientific botanical publications do not italicize names above the rank of genus and non-botanical scientific publications do not, which is in keeping with two of the three other kinds of scientific name, zoological and bacterial. For botanical nomenclature, the ICN prescribes a two-part name or binary name for any taxon below the rank of genus down to, and including the rank of species. Taxa below the rank of species get a three-part a binary name consists of the name of a genus and an epithet. In the case of a species this is a specific epithet. Bellus perennis is the name of a species, in which perennis is the specific epithet. There is no connecting term involved, to indicate the rank. In the case of a subdivision of a genus the name consists of the name of a genus and a subdivisional epithet. A connecting term should be placed before the subdivisional epithet to indicate the rank. Paraserianthus sect. Falcateria in the case of cultivated plants, there is an additional epithet which is an often non-Latin part, not written in italics. For cultivars, it is always given in single quotation marks. The cultivar, group or grex epithet may follow either the botanical name of the species, or the name of the genus only, or the unambiguous common name of the genus or species. The generic name, followed by a cultivar name, is often used when the parentage of a particular hybrid cultivar is not relevant in the context, or is uncertain. Bibliography. Pavord, Anna. The Naming of Names The Search for Order in the World of Plants. New York. Bloomsbury. ISBN 9781596,972,000. Retrieved the 18th of February 2015.